my dad always says that ever since I was three years old, um, I said I wanted to do maths at Oxford. I um, started out uh, as a university student in Melbourne, in Australia, studying mechanical engineering and physics. Um, I got through one year of mechanical engineering before getting extremely bored. And uh, the, the bit of the course that I most enjoyed was uh, the introduction to computer science. I think for me, I knew I always wanted to do maths for a degree because I'd enjoyed the maths since I was a young person. But I was about 14 or 15 years old when the computer science really started to take an interest for me. Computer science grew out of the uh, maths department historically and we share a lot in common. The ones that will cut really well in the maths and computer science course are the students that feel that they want to understand all the underlying principles but what, about how computers would work in the first place and how to improve the efficiency of their algorithms. As a joint degree it makes a great deal of sense because it gives you a, a huge choice covering everything from pure and applied mathematics to theoretical and, a, and applied computer science. When you start, particularly in your first year, even though it's meant to be a 50-50 split, you end up doing two-thirds of the maths options and two-thirds of the computer science options. So particularly during your first and halfway through your second year, you do have a slightly larger workload than some of the courses. The very, very first computer science module you do is not like any other programming that anyone normally does before they come to uni. So you're all in the same sort of boat of like, what the hell is going on with this? It doesn't make any sense. You'll definitely learn to program in a computer science course, but a computer science course is not about programming. Oxford had the right approach when it came to the computer science where they weren't trying to focus too much on a specific programming language. They tried to teach you from the very basics. We're interested in teaching much more the fundamentals of, of computation and computability. Uh, which are in some ways abstracted away even from computers, so these are fundamental mathematical ideas. To get some really understanding on how to optimise some of the programs that you're going to need to do and trying to perform some of the really complex computer graphics, you need to have a really good understanding of the pure maths. The joint school uh, maths and computer science course um, has less flexibility in the, in the first two years two years than the, 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 the single school courses and that's because you, you have to get a grounding in both um, uh, mathematics and computer science. By the time it gets to your third year you have to do at least 25% maths and 25% computing but that final 50% can be made up from either the maths or the computing options. When you get onto your fourth year you're kind of you can you have to do a project so that project can either be in maths, computer science or in a mathematically related thing. So I did a project in the biology department which is related with modelling disease. The joint school students are part of a relatively uh, small cohort. Um, if that were compared across other universities in the UK or internationally, um, it's pretty small. I really enjoyed the fusion of skills you got from it so I could prove stuff more rigorously than say a computer scientist, but I knew how to program and stuff unlike most of the other people that did maths. As in maths and computer science options, particularly on the maths side, there were so many textbooks that we would only need to use for one term at a time. So having all the libraries on site on a college, as well as the libraries in the science departments and within the specific departments that we were looking at, gave you the chance to always have a copy of the textbooks that you needed for your course. Well, the obvious thing that, that makes uh, our joint school um, program stand out is the tutorial system, which allows us to um, interact very closely with students. The benefits of a joint school degree like maths and computer science is that you essentially get uh, twice the number of tutors. I think the reason why I wanted to go to Oxford is because of the level of support that you get. So make, being more informed, the tutorial system means that when you learn something and you don't understand something, you've got someone who's an expert and has taught it for 10 or 15 years who knows all the pitfalls and probably actually knows why you're not understanding it. The tutorial system uh, lets us push students harder than we could otherwise because they can't 
fall behind or hide. Um, you can only not do the work for a week before your tutor will know about it. The workload does increase over the four years, but your ability to cope with that workload also increases with it. One thing I would have liked to have known about Oxford before coming was how sociable everybody was here. I didn't think I would quite fit in. However, by the time we got to the end of the interviews, and especially by the end of Freshers Week, we realised that there were a lot more people similar to you than you originally thought. There's a great deal of misinformation about what computer science is and what, what you'll study if you come and study computer science um, and the sorts of jobs you'll end up doing. Um, so it, you should, it's good advice to really research uh, what, the, what the courses are, what sort of jobs you'll end up doing because they're often quite different to what uh, the, the common perception is. What they're looking for isn't your ability to recall all the facts straight away but your ability to learn the new knowledge that they will teach you. We expect no prior experience with computer science and we're not going to ask uh, computer science questions, um, uh, specifically computer science questions in, in interviews uh, that would, would assume some prior knowledge. They want to keep on pushing you, see how far you can go. They just want to see you interact in a sort of how you will interact if you come here. Mm -hmm. you just, they want to, you to see, be open and flexible to new ideas. The computer science interviews tend to be uh, probably a, a bit less structured, a bit more problem solving. Um, than the maths uh, interviews which tend to be a bit um, more mathematical, uh, more focused on testing knowledge that we think you should have acquired. The tutors are always there to try and get the answers out of you. So the best thing that you could do during your interview situation is just to speak out loud and voice any ideas or suggestions that you may be having. Mm. And even whether they are right or wrong, the teachers will then steer you in the right direction. Graduates from the Joint School in Mass and Computer Science uh, go on to do almost anything. So there's obvious career paths within uh, computing and software engineering um, on the computer science side, um, but graduates are also sought after in many other areas. The list is endless with a maths degree and with a computer science degree. So the vast majority of computer scientists normally end up going to work in software because unsurprisingly they quite like computers and they quite like programming. Um, mathematicians are a more diverse bunch on the whole. Good chunk will go into software, good chunk will go to work in the city, go and work in finance. The maths and computer science students, they tend to be the ones that will end up going into the research afterwards and so they can help develop some of these new ideas and come up with their own optimisation strategies. So the Mass Computer Science joint degree is very good for people that might want to go on and do further study. And now that I've finished my degree this year, I'm going to start my DPhil in September in cyber security at Oxford University. So I'll have four more years of training then and I'm hoping to go into academia long term afterwards. When I graduate I'm going to hopefully be a Maths and Computer Science teacher. The best advice for, for applications is firstly to apply um, uh, because you, um, even if you're not sure whether you, you will get in, then it's worth, it's worth having a go. For those that are interested in doing maths and computer science here, I suggest that they give it a go and definitely put their application in because it's not until you really come here and speak to the current students and speak to the tutors that you realise how sociable Oxford is.